Does the James Webb Telescope finally offer us the key to the true origin of the universe? A groundbreaking hypothesis challenges the existence of the Big Bang and could revolutionize our understanding of space and time. Theories more than a century old could be collapsing before our eyes, and the universe we thought we knew is being revealed in a whole new light. James Webb Shocks Science The new images of the cosmos taken by the James Webb Space Telescope are breathtaking. Star clusters, quasars, and cosmic nebulae are appearing sharper and more accurately before our eyes than ever before. But most astronomers and cosmologists are shocked, and that concerns one particular image. This innocuous-looking image, which shows a colorful smorgasbord of a few brightly shining stars in the foreground and many thousands of galaxies glowing red in the background, has it all. Possibly the oldest galaxies of the universe are to be seen here. Can you already imagine what can be so terrible about a few old galaxies that scientists are nervous since this discovery? We'll tell you. These galaxies break the rules of previous physical assumptions and overthrew the cosmological worldview and the theory of the Big Bang virtually overnight. Too old, too dense, too massive, and too luminous was the conclusion. These galaxies can certainly not help it that they do not fit into the worldview of the astronomers. They are simply what they are, or were. With an age of 13.5 billion years and more, they existed allegedly at the beginning of time. We remember now, the Big Bang is supposed to have happened 13.8 billion years ago, and after that, there was not much for a long time. If we follow previous model calculations to star formation and galaxy formation, the first stars appeared some hundred million years after the Big Bang, until the first complex galaxies were born. Actually, billions of years must have passed. You might already be thinking, here, something is not right. Because these galaxies shone fixed and ready, plump with stars 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang. But it gets better. Because the galaxies, which got the nickname Universe Crusher, show a very high degree of order. And very probably, they are based on elements which actually should not have existed at this time and in that form. The scientists thought fine. It's over with model calculations and theories. James Webb presented the unpleasant truth to astronomers and cosmologists of this world. Panic Among Scientists There are many surprises, of which not all are always pleasant. The title of an article from the time shortly after the publication of the first measurement data begins, therefore, with a direct exclamation. Panic. It's not difficult, even for laymen, to understand why these numerous, old and brightly radiating galaxies are not compatible with the Big Bang Theory. Nevertheless, researchers peddle, argue, calculate, and simply don't want to admit it. How in heavens could these galaxies be explainable after all? Some scientists find it difficult to say goodbye to hard-won theories. The idea was too beautiful to know almost everything about the universe. But how did the astronomers actually come to it? Well, that is quite simple. Astronomers and cosmologists took the standard rules of physics which to this day are a mixture of Newtonian physics, Einstein's general theory of relativity, and real observations. Then they compare, calculate, infer, and create equations. Nowadays, cosmologists feed computers with the data and come up with model scenarios that are consistent with all known values and rules. The Big Bang Theory came about through observations of the expanding universe. Edwin Hubble, a renowned astronomer of the early 20th century, made an exciting discovery when he observed the redshift of light from distant galaxies. According to the rules of science at the time, it looked very much as if galaxies were moving away from each other. The farther away a galaxy was, the faster it seemed to be moving away from us. This was taken as the first concrete evidence that the universe was expanding. The idea that the universe was expanding led to the logical conclusion that it must have been smaller in the past. If you run time backwards, you come to a point where the entire universe was concentrated in an extremely hot and dense state. This point has been called the Big Bang. Georges Lemaitre, a Belgian priest and astrophysicist, came up with the idea a few years before Hubble that the universe originated from an original primordial atom or primordial egg and then expanded. In 1927, Lemaitre published his work based on the equations of Einstein's general theory of relativity. In 1931, he expanded the hypothesis to include calculations reporting an extremely hot and dense primordial soup 
that wafted through space immediately after the Big Bang. Lemaitre described this initial state as a primordial atom, or cosmic egg, that broke in a violent explosion, marking the beginning of the universe. Initially, Albert Einstein was skeptical of Lemaitre's idea of an expanding universe. Einstein believed in a static universe. However, after more and more evidence of the expansion of the universe was found, especially by Hubble's observations, Einstein finally accepted Lemaitre's theory and abandoned his own idea of a static universe. Einstein had originally introduced a cosmological constant into his equations to support a static universe. After the expansion of the universe was accepted, Einstein referred to this constant as his biggest mistake. Interestingly, Lemaitre argued that this constant could have a real physical meaning, and in modern cosmology, the idea of a cosmological constant in the form of dark energy has regained importance. The Big Bang Theory was later supported by other observations, such as the apparently also expanding cosmic background radiation, but it never quite made the sense that we humans so desperately seek. What was before? Where does the universe develop? And why did all this come into being? None of the astrophysicists and cosmologists could explain these questions so far. What would you say if I claim that all these calculations and equations have always been a bit thin? Because there were just as many theories which assumed something completely different. If these scientists had been right, the cosmological worldview would look possibly completely different. Let's take Fritz Zwicky, for example. The Swiss-American interpreted the red shift of light, which goes out from very old objects in the universe, completely differently. He saw in the shift of light frequency into the reddish no indication that galaxies move away from us. Zwicky recognized a fatigue of light during its long journey through space. There are, meanwhile, just as many observations which speak against the expansion of the universe. Only these are still measured at the yardstick of the old rules and theories. But this could be at an end now. The Impossible Galaxies Big Bang theorists have known for years that images from the Hubble Space Telescope already point to the existence of very unusually old and well-developed galaxies. The galaxy GNZ 11, spotted by Hubble, had an age of 13.4 billion years. Remember, we talked earlier in the video about galaxies taking billions of years to evolve. But 13.4 billion years is only 400 million years from the supposed Big Bang. Well, GNZ 11 could have been an outlier or the first real galaxy. The pictures of Hubble were also not quite as good as those of James Webb. GNZ 11 is also very small, and it could have been one of these mini galaxies which by merging with other small galaxies produced even larger formations. Nevertheless, the development was actually foreseeable. Only no astronomer had really reckoned with the surprise and shock the new space telescope delivered. James Webb made things much worse, at least for those who want to continue to hold on to old theories. James Webb saw galaxies as large, bright, and existing as smooth disks and perfect spiral shapes long before GNZ 11. The article mentions that researchers discovered about 10 times more smooth spiral galaxies than researchers would have expected at the beginning of galaxy formation. This evidence not only challenges the Big Bang and theories of the evolution of first stars, but also completely destroys the merger theory. Is the Big Bang still tenable? Does the existence of these galaxies now prove that the Big Bang did not happen at all? Possibly. We don't know yet. The discoveries have been studied for months now, but researchers may need years to get to the bottom of the mystery of galaxies and the cosmos. The Big Bang is the idea that our universe was initially a hot, dense, and uniform point. Particles flew around freely, and it was far too hot for bonds and matter to form. As it expanded, the primordial soup is said to have cooled. The first molecules were formed, gases, dust, and finally the elementary forces of nature appeared. Electromagnetism, radiations, and the gravitation formed, with time and all that we can see today in the cosmos. Stars, planets, moons, black holes, and much more. Until now, the theories made sense along with most of these observations, but not anymore. Rajendra Gupta is a Canadian-Indian researcher who presented a study that brings the theory of the Big Bang together with the observations of the impossible galaxies after all. Only then, the universe is at least 27 or even 40 billion years old, and a few changes would have to be made to cosmological constants 
and the interpretation of redshift so that everything is red again. But then, will we have the truth? Well, no. We would have a new theory that might be valid until real observations find otherwise. With the shock in classical science, quantum theorists are now stepping forward. Particle scientists have long said that the Big Bang is a rigid idea and that the multiverse is much more likely. According to this, the Big Bang may not have been the absolute beginning of everything that exists, but it could be the origin of our universe, and that could be in a larger universe or have many neighboring universes. The idea that the universe is neither temporarily or spatially limited is also not yet completely off the table. Fact is that we have found at present still no single reference to a spatial end. We meanwhile survey more than 93 billion light years of seemingly endless universe. And now we look back 13.5 billion years into the past and find, as it looks, also no clear end. If you love exciting videos like this about astronomy and science, then subscribe to our channel now and press the like button.